Hello, here is the team of 5 Star Motorbike Rental in and we will now explain the Honda ADW 150cc adventure of and thus also functionally identical Honda PCX 150cc. You start the Honda using a two-part keyless system. The signaling part can usually be left in your pocket if you are within a radius of 3 meters from the machine. The transmitter and receiver can be contacted at the large rotary knob at the bottom right and you press this rotary knob to unlock where a blue background light appears. Then press it down again. Then turn it clockwise until the digital tachometer shows something in the low beam is switched on automatically. This is point one of the start procedure. Then there are the usual three further points of the start procedure. Second, fold in the side stand. Third, pull the left brake. Fourth, press the start button on the right handle. From the actively displaying speedometer, a click to the left is the position to open the petrol tank in the helmet compartment under the seat. For this there is also a toggle switch at the bottom right which is labeled fuel at the top and seat at the bottom. So if the key is in its seat position, you can either open the fuel cap on the front of the center console by pressing the upper part of the toggle switch or by pressing the lower part of the helmet compartment. This offers enough for two medium-sized helmets. Note, the large rotary switch closes automatically after approximately 30 seconds. Then you have to press it again until the blue light appears. All other functions are just as normal as on other motorcycles. Turn signals left and right and reset to the neutral position by pressing the turn signal from above. The left brake is the rear brake. The right is the front brake. It is a combination brake. Please pull both brakes at the same time for the most effective effect. The toggle switch on the left thumb level is the high beam with the purple control lamp on the digital field. On the right thumb level is the toggle switch for the automatic start-stop. The upper idling position means that it is deactivated. If you switch on the automatic start-stop with idling stop, a green A appears in the digital field, which first goes out because you have to drive about one kilometer before it becomes active again. When the automatic start-stop system is activated, the engine stops the next time you stop and you then start it again by accelerating. We have three button switches on the transmitter part of the key. The top one activates an acoustic signal from the scooter, which is useful if you want to find your scooter in a large parking lot. The middle button switch activates and deactivates the alarm system, which flashes red on the large rotary switch to show that it is active. The lower button switch on the transmitter key part locks and unlocks the entire signal key system. If you press it for 2 to 3 seconds, the key is locked when the diode light on the transmitter is red and unlocked when the diode light is green. If there is no blue light on the large rotary knob during the startup process, this means that the key has been interrupted and must be pressed on the lower part of the transmitter part of the key until it shows a green diode light. Afterwards, blue light will appear again by pressing the large rotary knob and the rotary knob can be moved by pushing it in. Tips for refueling and driving in Thailand There is a dense network of petrol stations, but the petrol stations close at 8 p.m. The gas station attendant will fill up with the E20 or petrol with 91 octane or with 95 octane recommended by us. With a full tank you can travel at least 250 kilometers. More expensive and bottled, 91 octane gasoline can be found on shelves which can be used if necessary. Our vehicles are always issued with a full tank so please refuel the vehicle before returning it. We recommend three simple rules to drive safely in Thailand. First, don't drive too fast. 50 to 55 kilometers per hour is a good speed. Second, leave your thumb on the horn. This prevents you from accidentally pressing the turn signal underneath if necessary. 
Third, if you turn right, please do not thread yourself into the middle of the road. Because there is the greatest risk of accidents because the Thai people also overtake the solid line in front of hills and curves. If these rules are observed, the likelihood of an accident is very low because driving is very easy and the traffic volume is low between 9 o'clock and 1600.